Hey everyone, you probably have heard that the Edexcel Paper 1H um, was leaked. Um, this rumour is actually true. Uh, for all the people who aren't up to date, I'm basically going to use this video just to explain everything that has happened on my end, on the exam board's end, what I've had to do to sort of sort this out, um, things like that, and just generally a story time of what actually happened in terms of the paper being leaked. So, um, we'll start to Friday. Um, I'll just go right from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. So Friday morning, 6 a.m., um, one question, question 21 from the paper was sent in my Discord server, I think in the maths discussion chat um, at 6.20 a.m. Um, someone was asking help, well, someone was asking for help on this question, um, not knowing, I assume um, people didn't know that it was going to be the question that came up. Um, apparently what we know is that this person who sent it in my server um, got it from another server um, and just wanted help with the question. So they sent it in my server. This was at 6.20 a.m. in the morning. Now, nobody thought of anything of this because they just assumed it, that it would be a previous past paper question um, because no one had, had no one had sat the exam as of yet. It then goes to 10 a.m. Um, the exam has finished or 11 a.m. the exam has finished and somebody points out that the question um, that was sent in the chat at 6.20 a.m. was actually a question, exactly the same question that came up in the Edexcel paper, question number 21. And it seems that it was really, re it was pretty much exactly the same. It was a photo of the paper, a photo of tw question 21 taken before the exam was sit, sat at 6.20 a.m. Now, another source, again, I do, I can't, um, I cannot say in terms of reliability of this because this isn't my server now. Another source highlights that the paper was, act, the question 21 was actually sent on another server at around midnight, around 11.50 p.m. Um, the day before the paper was sat. And what what was said was um, the, the question was sent followed by GL, meaning good luck. And then people did question this, being like, what? But again, nobody took any notice of this until after the exam was sat. Now, I'm not very active on my Discord server, I have to admit that, so I had no idea that any of this was happening until Friday evening when I just got off, the, like when I was at school, well, getting home from school um, with my friends. So um, it was 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. Um, when I was going home on the coach. My school has no data, so I cannot check Discord, um, I cannot manage it, it's all down to the staff. Um, but we checked, um, I, I was getting, my phone was blowing up with Instagram DMs, with tweets, um, I was literally trending on Twitter, it was a bit overwhelming. And I saw that on Twitter there was a photo that was circulating of somebody leaking the maths GCSE um, paper 1H question um, on my server at 6am. Again, I was like, what the hell, I did not want this to happen, this is not my fault. I'm going to be in big trouble. Um, of course, I'm not in trouble. The people who sent it are definitely in trouble, but I have no responsibility of this. Of course, I own the server and I'm going to take full responsibility of the server, but I cannot, like we just as a staff team, we cannot, when we're not awake 24 hours of the day, we try our best to moderate. Anything that is sent is deleted, reported as soon as we think it's a leak or a possible leak. Um, Anyway, it was 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. I was on the coach with my friends and I was stressing out because there was a, um, there was that tweet circulating. Oh my God, Ravishan's going to jail. What the hell? He's leaked a paper. No, I did not leak a paper. Somebody joined my server and basically sent a photo um, of a question that they saw in another server asking for help. And it turns out that was the paper that was uh, in the, that was a question that was in the LXL paper 1H. And again, um, this, we tried to phone up Head Outsell, conveniently, five o'clock they closed. So I tried to send emails, I tried to tweet them and they did respond, which was really, really good. They responded within an hour or two and they um, they were aware of that because I had no idea. And I was like terrified because my Discord server was blowing up. What the hell have you done? Um, so I had to go contact Head Outsell. I emailed them, they got back to me two hours later. Um, they were aware that this happened. Um, they were launching an investigation into how it happened who was behind it and they asked me to get as much information as possible um, including the information of the two users and the logs um, that were sent and um, that's all that's all 
um, up to that point. Now, again, I was at dinner with my friends that I was pretty much checking the Discord server as much as possible. Again, people were going on and on and on about the leak. Um, and then, um, so again, I was chatting to edXL back and forth. I was, I was um, in the process of creating an announcement for the server um, about what has happened do we know that whether there actually has been a leak because there were theories that maybe it was just an edited time zone maybe it was something else but in reality yes one question i know that it was definitely leaked on my server but the staff handled it really really well we deleted reported and banned um but yeah i know people are going to call me snitches but i'm a discord partnered server we are endorsed and we cannot do anything um especially when it's when it comes to public examination so sorry um, anyway, the next day I woke up to an email from edXL and they had, they said they'd, they'd looked into everything. They're still looking into everything. Investigations are still on, uh, ongoing. Um, and they wanted us to make a, an announcement, um, in terms of just what has happened. And, um, they also made an announcement on their, on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below, um, about what's going to happen. So resets will not happen. Re uh, Alexa have made it clear, Alexa Pearson have made it clear that resets will definitely not be happening. Um, so don't worry, none of you are going to have to reset that exam. What we don't know is um, whether that question will be counted for, but we do know that there were only a small number of students who had access to this question beforehand. Again, I don't know the reliability of this. This is what was said um, by edXL. Um, but no resets will be um, needed. There is, uh, they do have special me measures in place um, for these sort of situations, but again, that's all I sort of know. Um, I'm just thinking of anything else that I sort of vaguely remember um, of what they said. Um, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Um, so yes, there was a leak on my server at 6 a.m., um, yes, a few people, a very few people saw it. Again, don't know the reliability of this. In terms of consequences, those who have leaked the papers, um, they will be sort of, um, there will be great consequences for them, whether it be um, banned from public examinations. Again, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's sort of the story time behind everything that happened on the server. Um, but yeah, hopefully that sort of explains everything to you. I did make short videos on this on TikTok. Um, so yeah, again, um, it has, it was a bit of a shock that like it got leaked on a Discord server, but um, it, it, it isn't surprising that this sort of stuff happens because it is the one of the largest student Discord servers um, in the UK. But um, I just wanted to remind you that if, there is any more mal malpractice on the server or anywhere, um, you do have to report it. Otherwise, you and everyone else will get into big, big trouble. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it has sort of cleared things up. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for staying. See you. Bye.